What is up, guys and gals, and welcome back to Crashlands. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while. You know that Tendram voice? That Tendram voice is absolutely starting to mess up my little vocal... I don't know what to call it, my vocal hallway. Whatever, I don't know science and stuff. I need to make some fertile dirt. We're back at base right now. We're actually cataloging all the cool stuff we found along the way. I'm going to make some more farming plots because they're super useful and it makes it so that I can easily get lots and lots of restorative stuff from a pack pack whenever I want to... No, I forgot to click the thing again. There we go, perfect. Having one of those days where people just keep texting me. Like, I hate text messaging. Text messaging is the worst. And what, like, what's worse about text messaging is that now that we have text messaging, nobody ever calls you anymore. Like, seriously. People that are, like, officials, like doctors and realtors and lawyers and stuff, just, like, text people now. They don't even get on the phone anymore. Like, this really feels like a conversation we should be having vocally, not through text. Did you just send me an emoji? Um, uh, a glutter net. I assume that's for catching glutterflies. When your realtor sends you an emoji of little poo, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say you might not have the most, you might not have the most professional realtor. I keep wanting to say lawyer, but I'm gonna stick with realtor for right now. Perfecto! We got some more fertile dirt rock, and I love the way the stuff locks together. The building, I like how the building menu comes with its own music too. It makes me happy. I needed to, be, actually, I needed to be in here. The bacon weed fairy trophy. Because she was far too beautiful to be forgotten. Must be placed on a floor. Oh, we gotta like put it up on the wall. Okay. Now we've got enough space to where I think we can probably get away with planting like half a field of one and half a field of the other. And then once they grow in, we'll be able to throw like one bomb into the center and get ourselves a huge glut of resources every little bit. For right now though, there's a couple things we needed to do. So we've got what looks like you can enjoy the sweet scent of bacon weed all the time. Gives you HP regeneration every second. My question here, unfortunately there are no crows on the planet, so this item is probably useless. Still, it looks totally rad. It's got a beating heart inside of it. I don't know if I want all of my random, like, farming utilities to have beating hearts inside of them. It makes me... Slashing hearts I could go with, stabbing hearts, but beating hearts. Hey, I want to make a bacon band. Is that, like, a thing that I use, or do I wear it like equipment? I hope I wear it like equipment. I hope it's not a headpiece. Because I like my helmet that I have right now. It's a pretty rocking helmet. We have enough materials to make... I will probably go in on the weapon. Because what I was noticing during that last fight is I feel like we just weren't hitting hard enough. So I'm going to go in on that. It looks like we're going to need a few more of the sinews, I guess. What is this right here? A glutterfly incubator. So we don't have the stuff. Let's make that for our quest. Because I know we have a quest to craft one of those. And then we'll take it to somebody else. A stone creature bed. Comes with a name tag. Okay. This also means that it looks like I don't have the stone necessary to do that. I will make some chutes. Yep, let's do this thing. It's time for some chutes. Chutes my goots. Oh, we got an epic hammer. Hell yeah. Berserk chance, shock chance, stun chance. Excellent. Attacks per set. Oh, it's faster too. Yeah, 25% DPS increase. Yes, pleases. Yes, pleases Jesus. Oh man, we got crappy chutes. Our chutes are the succors. Luckily, our old pants are the succors too, so I think we're pretty well squared away. We needed the bacon band in there. And so is this like a... I hope it's an accessory. Oh, it is. It's an accessory. Yay! Nice! I like how they give you a bunch of slots for accessories too. I hate RPGs where they only give you like one ring slot. I'm like, dude, I have ten fingers. You can bet that if I'm an adventurer and I find magical rings, I'm gonna be decked out like a 1970s pimp. I'm gonna have rings on every finger, multiples of them. I always wondered if they gave off like an aura of magic though, and if the auras collide with each other, it's kind of like crossing the beams. So maybe you gotta keep the rings like a long way from each other because it's got like a reverse polarity magnet thing going on where they're repellent to one another. That or they used to date or something, and so now every time they see each other, they just fantasize about when they don't have to look at them anymore. I don't really run into my exes anymore. It's a pretty nice thing. They all moved away. That's the best part, is they just, like, moved. See, I stayed in my hometown, and they all left, seeking fortune and glory. And that means they're just, like, never around, so I just bum around all the time, and I never get called out on any of my shit. It's pretty great. It's pretty great. I thought I was gonna end up paying for my past relationships, but nah. I appear to have gotten off fairly free. I'm aware, I'm aware, I'm self-aware. I've talked about this on videos before. You gotta be self-aware. You've gotta know the bullshit you've done in life. I understand the bad things I've done. Then again, I have no, I have no desire to be dragged back through them over and over and over again. Made my peace, said my apologies, and I don't feel like being bothered with 
the remnants of what was. The ghosts of girlfriends past, which can be some very, very terrifying ghosts, my friends. Some very terrifying ghosts. Some verifying ghosts. Those are ghosts that work for the DMV. They are quite good at notarizing and also having really, really... Although the last couple times I've gone to the DMV, you've always bitch about the DMV, but last two or three times I've actually been able to walk right up to the counter. The trick to going to the DMV is to go at like 11 in the morning on your day off. Because if you try and go over there at like 4 o'clock when everybody else is trying to go over there after work, good luck with those shenanigans. They won't be butterscotch shenanigans, nay. They will be a bitter variety of shenanigans, the likes of which most people cannot contend with. Oh, cool. We got a we got a bump berry. I think the bump berry is probably like a better restorative item than what we had previously. Last couple of days I've been playing Dragon's Dogma. I don't know if we're gonna do a Dragon's Dogma series. If we end up doing one, I don't know. We got a we got a couple really really big things in the pipe. I want to hit something with this. I have yet. It looks like we hit for not that much. Oh, it strikes slower. Okay. I thought that they meant the time per swing was 1.5 seconds. Not two seconds like our old weapon, but it's actually literally that many attacks per se- Oh man, did I go around the wrong way? Ah! Got stuck on like a little peninsula thing. Lame. Shut up, glider pie! You ain't helping- Oh, we stunned him. That's pretty cool. I like stuns. And it looks like there's no diminishing returns on that, so it looks like you can just like stun him down into the ground if you really want to. Yeah! There we go. Oh, and we still get our Berserker mode, too, so that'll help out a lot. The Berserker mode is actually highly beneficial. I think if you're carrying a heavy weapon, anything that makes you strike more frequently tends to be a really, really good plan because it negates the weakness that the weapon has. And if you're going for a slow weapon that hits really, really hard, you should stack crit because that helps out. Maybe I'm just going by, like, MMO rules here. But typically, with two-handed slow weapons, you want to stack crit. You know what? Screw this. I'm going out the easy way. This is taking too long. I ain't going all the way around the horn. Bam! Across we go. I'm gonna leave that bridge there just in case I need it in the future. I do need to kill some of these Wampets. If I don't kill some Wampets, we're not gonna have any of the little sinewy things that we need in order to do our job properly. Which is surviving for right now. So we got some Wampet bones, but I need the sinews. Didn't get one there either. Damn. You there, Wampet bull. Are you Wampet full of sinew? It didn't rhyme and it wasn't ow. It didn't rhyme, and I don't think it was going to, but I figured I'd give it a go. I had my inclination to think that, eh, Before I start any kind of, like, rhyming thing that I do here on the channel, in general, I tend to think about it first. Because when you spit hot fire, oh, we gotta go way up there. Jesus. Alright, let's go all the way up there. No, Wampet Bull, no. I'm just a little lady with a hat that's made out of stone and a flat stone boot. A chute. So that I might walk away into the sunset, leaving you unbothered and unscathed. But believe me, I shall scathe you. You shall become scathed if you decide to fight with me. Or I might just run away like a coward. Kinda depends how busy I am, and how many quests I- Oh, I one-shotted him. That was fun. More one-shotting. I'm okay with one-shotting. One-shotting sounds great. What's up, heifer? Still getting mostly bones. I think the sinews might be hard to come by. I think they might be some kind of like rare loot. Or at least rare-ish compared to that which we've already had. I'm gonna grab some stone while I'm in here too. Yes, please. So if I update, Grammammies, we gotta go back around this way, I think. This area is difficult to navigate. It reminds me of a lot of the areas in Don't Starve where it's just like a sprawling complex of random watery tendrils that you gotta find your way around. Every now and again you get stuck navigating. Yeah, we got a bunch of stunt procs, and then I started, like, relying on them. And now that I know I can't rely on them, it's a little upsetting. Ooh, we got a toenail right there. Anybody want a toenail? There's a Mexican restaurant here in town that I used to go to. Used to, being the key operating word here. The operand factor. Got a toenail in one of my enchiladas one time. It was gnarly. Not like a whole toenail, but like a toenail clipping. And I'm nice, too. I, like, leave tips and, in general, am just a really cordial, wonderful patron. So I'm assuming it was an accident. It was still deeply upsetting, though. It ruined their food for me forever. It didn't get in my mouth. I saw it while it was, like, in there. And I was like, ah, 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 ah. No, thank you. God, we have a long walk in front of I'm gonna pick up some of these bump berries, though, while we're on the way. 
It seems like they might be useful long term. I like the music. It's relaxing. It makes me feel like I'm doing something right. It makes me feel like life is okay. There's a building up there. Hmm. Let us investigate. Do I need a key to get in there? Or can I just like open that thing up and like take what I desire? Place fourth the bridge. Okay, place first the bridge. So do I have to hit it? Oh shit. I thought those bombs were gonna blow me up. I guess I have death charges now. Why do I need death charges? I'm not in a I'm not in like a destroyer trying to hunt submarines. I'm assuming there's some usefulness here that I just don't know about yet. We just can't seem to get that done, can we? If I get a stun out, that'd be great. Oh, man. It's gonna be like that, is it? It's gonna be like that, is it? There's a kill. No. Bad Glytopus. Very, very bad Glytopus. At least we got a heal on the last hit, so that's good. Is that a regeneration shrine? I think that's a regeneration shrine. Yeah, buddy. I may not regenerate quickly, but when I do, I regenerate with longevity. It looks like Grandmammy's is up here, and we still have the potted plant in our inventory, I hope. Because that's what we needed to take over. We had to put, what's his name? The guy that got murdered by, I forget his name now. Either way, the guy that was murdered by our antagonist. We had to plant his roots or something, or make like a ceremonial gift to his grandmama or something. I don't know. It all seems a little bit ceremonial to me. A little bit traditional. I like the new stuff, you know. I like to keep it fresh. I like to mix up the way things function, and so traditions don't really do much for me. I should just carry around a lot of those platforms with me is the feeling that I'm starting to get. It's just a feeling that I get. Ooh, what is that? A gem lamp? Hell yeah. This is not Grandmammy's house, is it? Oh man, I thought this is where Grandmammy was going to be. Ah, we did find the bridge to get over here though. Well then I need to pick up a bunch of gems because that was what I was complaining about like two episodes ago that we had no illumination at our base. We're having lots and lots of problems seeing things. I'm gonna go ahead and oh you squished him nice job nice job respect for the squish game why hello there young flower you're quite the peddly one aren't you and a metal dog box how cute would you like to come in for some fish fishing's good around these parts grandmammy uh, we're actually here to say I've got a grandson who would love to meet a flower like you he ran off without Don down a while back though I sure would like it if you visit me. Ugh. I would like that so much. <clears throat> Sorry, Grandmammy, but Burl passed away. That floating head, Hugo Duco, killed him. What? That ain't possible, Flowery. If Burl was dead, then somebody should be here bearing his root along with the symbol of his life. Sorry, we're the ones bearing it. Oh my. He died helping others, Grandmammy. Twas just like little Burl to do that. Always putting others first. Thank you, bearing his root to me. I owe you a favor on account of doing this deed for me and my family. A favor? Anything you need, Flower, to celebrate Burl's life and so that my grief may be put to good. Grandmammy, we're in the need of a battery. Do you know where we might get one? Tech ain't my strong suit, but my old friend Graham runs a lab a good distance from here. He might be able to help you find what you be needing. But be careful wandering that far out. The glutterflies get real bad at night. Now I need a moment to think on Burl, Flowery. This floating head done wronged me, and I cannot let that stand. Yeah, we cannot let that stand. Why do you still have a text thing? What will you do now, Grandmammy? Vengeance, Flowery, but vengeance is a dish best served with a side of breakfast food. Look, she's freaking me out a little. Her stare is boring a hole in the wall. Burl loved omelets. Tell you what, Flowery, you whip me up an anger omelet. I could use one right about now. You'll need a hoss to tend it. If you need some stones, you can always find big patches out in the middle of them lakes. Yay! More recipes! So we got a hearth. And what was the other one? Ooh! An anger omelet. That sounds really rad. I want an anger. How come I don't have an anger omelet? Can I hurt this finally? Or is it still resilient to my blows? I think it might be resilient to my blows. 
Do bombs hurt it? Bombs do not hurt it. All right, so now that we give it the old heave ho, we tried to explode it. That's usually the best that you can do. If something won't explode, it's usually time to detach and run away and duck for cover. So we need an anger omelet, we need to make a hearth and a bunch of other stuff. I love how the recipes just drop while you're running around. Do we get any more rare ones? Oh, we got a stone stool. That's pretty cool. If you've got stony stools, you should probably stop eating so many stones. Just figured I'd throw that life advice out there, just in case you've got stony stools. God, that seems like it'd be really unpleasant on the way out. I guess it depends how pokey it is, though, because if it's like limestone, then yeah, that'd be the worst. But if it was something like smooth and it came out at the right angle, or if the whole thing was kind of, I don't know, like an egg maybe shaped, it might be okay. Maybe. I don't want to give you false hope. Oh, good, we've got the power of flicked again. With the power of flicked, I shall challenge the dragon, challenge the dragon with my new wings. It's a metal song that I'm working on. I'm hoping it'll go places some- No, I'm not. Metal never goes anywhere. Metal is pointless. Let's go to this side. Yay! We're back home already. Teleportation is the best invention ever. We should get on that, like, right now. So what can I craft? I can make a bone floor. I do have a lot of bones. I don't really need bombs. Hmm. Nah. This one right here requires... The gem lamps are a little bit more classy. I feel better about crafting those. So she wants 29 of those. Oh, it's such a good thing that I harvested trees on my way out. And then we also needed to get some chitins. Or maybe some charmer. I'm gonna get some charmer. Charmer's what's up. And then we'll worry about the chitins a little bit later. We also have enough left for two lights. And so I'll get two of those and we'll put them inside some of our rooms to make our home look a little bit more comfortable. Make things feel a little bit more homey. Homey. Yay! The station has been assembled! It looks like this is mostly going to be cooking and restorative items. Which sounds great to me because we have not had a lot of those lately. So I'll take it. As far as rando items go, that's not what I wanted to do. Sorry. I messed up. I did a bad thing. I did a bad thing! Let's put her right there, just to remind us that there are more horrible things in the world than the ten ram. Put the hearth right there, too. Oh, look at that. It glozes. So what does this do? We've got an anger omelet right there, which looks like it takes a considerable amount of materials. I'll make a bunch of them so that there's one that I can keep. They'll get into a murderous rampage. 50% pet damage boost. Oh, so you feed it to a pet. I mean, it doesn't speak too well of the ten ram, but eh, what are you going to do? So these right here look like they require you a dusky healing potion. What about like a little wimpier healing potion? It's apparently made out of wood and bacon weed. And that sounds mighty, mighty fine to me. And so I'm going to take all those. And I'll put them in instead of what we have right now. And that allows us to get our health a little bit lower before we have to heal. So we got the anger omelets. We got the healing potions. That should be completely and totally fine. Let's go back to this machine now because it should be done with all of our little crafting. We got ourselves a superior stone thong. We're losing vampire chance, but we're gaining toughness. Or no, we're losing toughness. We're gaining health, though. Berserk chance, poison resist. Eh, not my favorite thing, but I guess it'll have to do for right now. This armor is pretty sweet, but why does it vary in quality? I swear I'm crafting it the same each time, but sometimes it's better. This planet's got some energy fluctuations passing through the air. It must somehow be affecting the quality of your crafts. So if I make something more than once, there's a chance it'll be better? Seems like it. If you ever get a dud of a weapon or armor piece, try crafting another for a chance at something more powerful. Won't my suit fill up with junk then? You can clear out your inventory by using the salvage button in the top right of your suit's UI. Don't you ever listen at my meetings? Salvaging your old equipment will give you back some of the components so you can put them to better use. Sorry, I was spacing out. Did you say something? Alright, I have that problem, so I understand. So if I wanted to go inside my suit, if I go to... I'm assuming that's the thing that allows us to recycle stuff. Ah. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's nice. I'll take it. I will take. I was a little worried it was going to blow up the stuff that I had in my inventory, but no, it looks like you're pretty much safe. How come that last one wouldn't blow up? That's a little nerve-wracking. Got some wooden gloves right there. Blow those on up. Oh, yeah. 
Why did I make the chittens? I didn't need the chit. Oh, I didn't make the chittens. I made the thong thing. Oh, it goes on my chest. It goes on my chest. See, I was looking at it wrong. <laughs> you know, I wasn't totally joking when I said you should try milking that wampet of yours. What? Why would I do that? We've got to take advantage of every possible resource this planet has to offer if we're going to get these packages delivered. Try putting that milk-tastic beast of yours back in its nest, then feed it some sawgrass leaves. Can't believe I'm going to milk this thing. Less feelings, more milkings! Alright, we're going to milk this for everything that it's worth. So we stable the little bastard. And then it looks like we can feed him... Oh. Ew. I don't like that noise it just made while I milked it. I think it's enjoying this milking too much. So what does Wampet milk do? With the right attitude, you can milk just about anything. This comes from a domesticated Wampet. Gnarly. Huh. Alright, well now that that's finished. That wasn't so hard, was it? I guess not, but what do I do with it? No idea, but we'll probably come up with a use for it eventually. I bet any beast we tame could produce some useful materials. Hopefully useful and tasty. Thanks, my whittle wompity shoobity dooblop. Aw, oh, that's you. Yes, it is. A shoo-boo-boo. Hey, juice box. you seen these strange essences coming out of the darker wompets? Yeah, they seem to be some form of condensed energy. Maybe that's how the wompets got so big. Like a mutation catalyst? It's not unheard of. Why don't you go gather some more of those and bind them into something that hideous wompet of yours can wear? If you expose it to enough of the essences, you might be able to make it turn into one of the bigger, more powerful ones. Huh, but what would a Wampet want? They've only got that one big hairy leg they're always flaunting around. What about a garter? A flattering, stylish, and highly catalytic garter. Alright, I'll put one together. A Wampet garter. Dear lord. Where's this game going right now? Game, where are you going? Oh wow, we don't have nearly the materials for that. Okay, never mind then. Hey, you come with me. Come along, my friend. I was wondering if there was going to be like pet leveling or anything like that. Wow, we just got a lot of materials. That was pretty cool. I enjoy what is that? An elixir of anti-venom. Okay, that's sweet. Probably not gonna use it right now, but it sounds awesome. Wampet, I'm gonna have to ask you to step down this way. And maybe just let those be planted for right now. Oh, I'm still throwing bombs. I don't want to throw bombs anymore. I'm a nice guy. Don't need bombs. Because nice people don't need bombs. Alright, so what do we want to do now? Oh, yeah. We needed the anger omelet to take to Grammammy's. We got that covered. I like how there's a narrative to keep me going. Because otherwise, by now, I'd be like, Oh, we're just building stuff. I like how there's people to talk to and stuff to see. Hey, Grammammy. We made that omelet for you. Thank you. Such a lovely aroma. This rage turned to nutrition. It will sustain my drive for vengeance. Now, if you'll excuse me, Grandmammy's got some cooking of her own to do. Looks like we got a mild speed potion. That's good, because the spicy speed potion. It's a bit much for me. There's too much habanero in it. Too much habanero. My name is Splattercat. This is the end of our Crashlands episode. I will see you all in the future tomorrow. I promise. Bye.